what is up you guys, we're Max and CB12 here, and welcome to another 1UP unboxing! What? what? So I have no idea what the theme is for this month. Last month was Pixels, and that was really disappointing, like that sucked. And last month I did my first Loot Crate as well, and that was absolutely awesome. And I know this month for Loot Crate is time travel, and we already they leaked out the pop figure for that, which really sucks. But I'll keep it a secret if you guys have no idea what that is, or the figure that's in the box. But um, today we have 1UP box, I'm assuming it's a Halloween theme, but... Um, loot crates is time travel because tomorrow is October 30 or 21st, which is the day Marty McFly went back to the future. Um, but yeah, one up box again. I think it's Halloween theme, but not sure. We have a smaller one up box this month, which kind of sucks, I guess. But it depends what's in it. Like I said, I have no idea what the theme is, so let's go ahead and wing it. Use the knife and cut open. You guys want the first look? I think you do. Ready? Set. Da -da -da -da. I don't know what's in it. Oh, we got some pops, actually. Um, first off, okay, Van Exel's gonna steal this from me immediately. We have a Nightmare Before Christmas Jack Skeleton pop figure. I have her on Skype, and she's freaking out right now, so she's gonna love this. Yeah, you see that? She's freaking out on camera. You guys wanna see her face right now? She's freaking out. That she hit herself. That is pretty cool. See, so this is Halloween theme already. Um, now, I... I don't really like this that much. I might trade it. Yeah, this is my first time getting the Pocket Pops. I actually lost my Batman set about Fable Comic Con. And speaking of Fable Comic Con, we have a Walking Dead Pop with Sterile Dixon, the mini one. And the box is a little bit damaged, which kind of sucks. Same thing with Jack Skeleton. We're not really Jack. It's good. This box is a little bit damaged, but um, uh, based off what happened at Comic Con, I'm not up for getting into the Walking Dead. Pretty cool we got those. So Again, gotta love it when you get a Funko product, so... Van Exen's definitely getting this, and I might keep this for trade, so if anyone needs that, let me know it's a little bit damaged, though. Uh, next we have some candy! We got some Pop Rocks! Popping candy- Ooh, Cotton Candy Explosion! This is definitely gonna taste good. It's for me. You're not getting it. She's all sad. Next we have- This is- Kinda sucks. Um, one of those little weird bracelets everyone at school wears. I'm never gonna wear this, really. Um, it's alright. You can have. Well, I think it's glow in the dark, actually. Looks glow in the dark. But these pops are a big, cool thing. I'm um, next up the t shirt. Uh, here's the button, actually. Show that off. Oh, this is cool. My favorite button so far. We got Donatello from the Ninja Turtles, like as a zombie. So there's. Uh, it's the Nightmare set. That's cool. I don't know why The Walking Dead's there. Because zombies, I guess? I guess I love these pop figures. Um, we have a. The, the night flying thing? I forget what this is called. You put them on your face the, when you're sleeping, and we got Boo from Super Mario. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, you don't see much Boo merchandise out there, so that's cool. It's just one of those little generic ones that 1UP Box has. Not really even the full face because they don't have licensing for, I'm pretty sure, Nintendo stuff. But here we go. We got Boo. It's pretty cool. I might put them on like a plushie I have or something. Um, that is the Ooh, we have a poster, it looks like. I'll get to the shirt last. What's this poster of? Um, oh, Van Axen's gonna want this, too. It's kind of a crossover poster, which kind of sucks, but it is uh, pretty much this month's themes poster. That's kind of cool, that's an actual poster. It is The Nightmare Before Christmas, got Jack Skeleton and Sally on, like, the little mountaintop, with Boo being the moon, and we have, I'm assuming, the Walking Dead characters right there. The Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters, Haunter, and Ghastly from Pokemon, and a ghost car, and an arm coming out of the grave. That's pretty cool. At least it's not cheap, like, cheaply paper. It's paper, like poster paper, if that makes sense. Now let's check out this shirt. Let's see if it's any good or not. Alright, I'm not big on black shirts, but let's check it out. Oh, this is awesome. She's not getting this from me. It is a Luigi's Mansion shirt. So you got, like, look... Luigi, we got like the Master Sword, all these Nintendo characters and stuff on the ground. We got the Ghostbusters strap, and we got the Ghastly Gengar and um, a Haunter in the background haunting Luigi. Luigi's wearing a Hawaiian shirt for some reason. That's kind of weird, but pretty cool shirt. Let's go ahead and try it on. I'm wearing my Team Ethan shirt right now. Shout out to you, Ethan, if you're watching this. I don't know if you are, though, but let's continue on and try it on. Alright, now the shirt is on, we can give it a little bit more of an in-depth review. So, this one, um, it's more of a weirder kind of cotton, if that makes sense. Like, it feels, like, sticky in the inside. 
like kind of rough actually so I don't like that it feels rough so this feels pretty cheaply printed but I mean I got I do like the design the design on this shirt is awesome I really wish this was a poster instead of the shirt because I mean I would hang this up on the wall or something that's a perfect crossover in my opinion like the Zelda one we got and last month's shirt was awesome as well so the highlight of this box is obviously these little pop figures really cool like I say give me a Funko product and I'm in love with the box but that really sucks damaged uh, I might keep the Daryl one just to keep, but we got Jack Skeleton and Van Exxon's going to get this, of course. So yeah, that is it, you guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.